Hello and welcome to the video tutorial for the MyLeague.com Standings Tool. The Standings Tool is accessed by clicking the Standings tab at the top of your League page, and it will bring you to this page here, the Standings page. Um, the Standings page presents information about what rank the various players on your leagues are, as well as their wins, losses, ladder bucks, and other relevant statistics. Once you're at the Standings page, you can see the information about all the fellow players on the League. The information is initially sorted by rank from uh, highest rank to lowest rank, but if you want to sort the information in a different way, you can simply click on any of the column headers to sort by that. If I wanted to sort by name, I would click on it, and it would sort the information alphabetically. If I wanted to sort by wins, it would go from most wins to least wins. If I wanted to go from least wins to most wins, I could click wins again, and it would give me reverse order. Once I'm done looking at all this information, I can just click restore default, and it will go back to the normal view. On large leagues, the number of people in the standings tool can be a bit overwhelming, so you may want to filter it so that not everyone is shown. For example, if I wanted to only see the people on this league who had fewer than 200 ladder bucks, I would go here to add filter, choose current ladder bucks, I would set current ladder bucks less than 200. I would then hit update, and it would only show me the players who had less than 200 ladder bucks, as you can see here. Once I was done looking at those players, I could simply click Restore Default, and it gives me my full view back. Now, let's suppose I think that there's too many columns in this view, and it's just an overwhelming amount of information. I can go to the Columns tool and uncheck the things that I do not want to see. For example, if I only wanted to see uh, rank, name, wins, losses, and let's leave ladder bucks on there, I could do that. I would click Update, and then only those columns would be shown. And as always, when I'm done, I can click Restore Default to get back to my regular view. Let's say I'm looking for a specific player on my league to see their stats. Now, on this league, it's pretty simple because there's only eight players, but if you're on a league with several hundred players, that can be pretty difficult. So let's say I wanted to find, let's look for player Cat4. I would type in the name Cat4, and as you can see, there's autocomplete, so I don't have to remember the exact spelling of it. I can just click that, click Go, and it will highlight the Cat4 line for me. If there's multiple pages, it will jump to the appropriate page, and you can still see that line. Now, you may have noticed that unranked players aren't shown in the default view. If you wish to view unranked players, you can simply go to Filters, and you can either remove the rank greater than 1 filter, and that will show unranked players right above the regular ranked players, or you can instead choose rank is equal to 0, and that will show only the unranked players. If you're a premium member, there's actually a feature where you can save views so that you don't have to keep coming back to them. For example, if I wanted to have a view that only showed the unranked players, I would set that view right here. I could go over here and type in unranked to name it that, and click Save. Then when I'm on my default, if I wanted to quickly get to the unranked players, I would just click Unranked, and there they would be. Uh, if I decided that I didn't want this view saved anymore, I would just click that X, and it would get rid of it for me. And as always, Restore Default takes you back to the default standings view. Restore Default works kind of like your panic button. If you're not sure what you did, or you can't figure out why someone isn't showing up, just click Restore Default, and it gets it back to your typical listed in order of rank view. As another example for the My Leaderboards tool, I'm going to show this is one of our more common searches. If you go to current ladder bucks is less than 300 and update that, then you can save it as need ladder bucks and save that. That way, just at a simple click, you can see who on your league is low on ladder bucks in case you're one of the people who likes to gift bucks to new players or players who are low on ladder bucks. As you can see, no matter what view I'm on, I can just click need ladder bucks and it will filter it down to that. 
This My Leaderboards feature, again, is only for premium users, so if you want that feature, you will have to upgrade, but it's pretty convenient for those of you who are. So that concludes the standings tutorial, and I hope it makes the standings tool a bit easier for you to understand uh, with the sorting by columns options or just the restore default panic button if you want to get back to your regular view. So thanks for watching.